What's up PUBG Mobile fans, this is Browie back again with another video. And in this video we're taking a look at an achievement called Life is Fragile. You can find that on the tab with the little gun icon. And here it says you need to die in the following ways to get your reward. So some of these are pretty easy slash obvious because in regular gameplay you'll die by some of those right away, but some of them are not so easy. Kind of like die by a vehicle. Most of us try to avoid when an enemy is driving a vehicle towards you. Um, so I decided to go ahead and try and complete this mission or this achievement by dying in those exact ways. So I went to Arcade and the first one I'm going to try is die by melee. So I figured if I land next to a building there's going to be people running around and I'm just going to chase them with my fists and hopefully somebody stops and turns around and starts punching me. And look at this. Everybody dropped here. I start punching this guy. He's running for a gun. He doesn't want to have anything to do with me. So I'm going to chase this guy to see if he wants to punch it out. I get really close. Give him one punch, two. And he turns. And he starts punching. So sweet. So basically now I'm going to pretend I'm fighting. And then he's going to punch me to death here and I should then die by melee range. I didn't want him to get in there and grab a gun instead of a melee and then take me out. So I died by him punching me and I'm gonna head back to the achievements just to make sure that dying with punching will work with the die by melee range. So head back to achievements Life is fragile. Killed in melee range is checkmark. Perfect. All right. So the other two pretty easy ones would be to um, get killed by a high fall and drown. So I head to arcade again and, you know, just kind of waiting to see what map I get. Maybe I'm near water. Maybe I get some sort of cliff and when I get loaded up I get this crazy glitch that looks like I'm in the matrix and in this arcade I find the crater fields this is perfect these have huge mountains so I decide to jump out of the plane and head straight for those huge mountains and I'm gonna just parachute on top of them because hopefully then I'm able to jump far enough and then die by falling so I'm trying to pinpoint exactly on top of the mountain because if I miss it, I have to just go ahead and play the, play the match. So I'm slowly trying to weave my way back and forth to get right on top of that mountain. Just did. Perfect. Now I'll just climb up to this very top, take a look up here, double check where I'm at, and scoot over to the edge. Make sure I know where I'm going to jump. Perfect. And step back, a few back, and then take off. Should be long enough. That's a definitely a long fall. Killed by a long fall. See, I can't remember exactly what it's, what the wording was. So, again, after the death, double checking. Make sure I died in the proper way. So I head back to the lobby, back to my achievements, and make sure I got that green check mark. Life is fragile. Oh, it's back up at the top. There it is. Fell to death. There's the green check mark. Fell to death. All right, next one that I figured was easy was drown. So I go into arcade, hopefully I get some water this time. And in this match, I get Erangel. So there's definitely water around this map. And wouldn't you know it, the circle is right on top of some water by Georgia Pool. So this one was gonna be super easy. Get out of the plane, head straight down toward the water. It couldn't have been much easier. I'm just glad that the ring um, fell over some water a little bit. 
I just needed a little bit of water to get underneath so I could sit there and wait for my health to deteriorate. Fall down in and uh, it actually takes quite a while. So I speed it up here. As you notice, it sure takes quite a while. But as I get closer and closer to death, my red gets down to the end and then I end up dying by drowning. Perfect. So, head back to the main screen. I have now completed a few more challenges. I fell, I drowned, and I died by in melee range. Head to achievements, check out what I need left. All check marks except for the bottom two, which is killed by a bomb and killed by a vehicle. So I decided killed by a vehicle might be a little bit easier than being killed in the red zone bombs. So what I decided to do was to chase the airplane and go for the drop. I'm not really going for the drop. What I'm trying to do is get near the drop because when people are going after it, they are typically in vehicles. So this way, if I get near the drop and I hear a vehicle coming at the drop, I can basically just run in front of the vehicle. So here I am um, racing toward where the drop was located on the north side. And as I turn left here on the road, right across the bridge, you see this guy jumps in a vehicle just at that moment. So I jump out real quick, go stand next to the vehicle. Hopefully he doesn't jump out and shoot me. And he runs me over instead. Perfect. That one was, I think, two matches after I completed the arcade mode matches that I showed previously. So now I've completed all of the achievements except for one, which is die by the red zone bomb. Head over to achievements, check my life is fragile, and there it is. One last one, killed by a bomb. All right, this one took a long time. I believe I recorded 13 different solo matches where basically I would drop right in the middle of Erangel near the school. Anytime I saw that pop-up warning red zone, I open up the map, I jump into my vehicle that I had always right next to me, and I race toward the red zone, jump out, run around, and hopefully get lucky enough to get killed by the bomb. And I think that's kind of funny that I'm trying to get killed by the red zone when we're usually trying to get out of it. So in this instance, like I said, it was about the 13th or 14th match that I had already tried this, and that's a lot of red zones to drive towards. I finally achieve it. I get over to Roshawk over the bridge here, and I always just tried to jump into the red a little bit and hop right out, and then I would just kind of run around. So I saw a guy in the water, and I thought maybe he'd be swimming here, and I could just give him a shot, and boom, that was awesome. It's so funny to think that that was I was so excited. Um, for that particular match, but I died 58th out of 100. I died in the red zone, and I'm pretty excited. So I'm getting back to the start here. Head to achievements, got a red mark. That's exactly what I want, and there it is. Life is fragile. All green check marks. Perfect. So I, what do I get? I get 20 um, achievement points, and I get three... Um, partial coupons so that I can open up a crate. Not that exciting of a gift, but it's fun to complete some of these achievements, especially when you are trying to complete the achievements. That one took a long time, like I said. A lot of the deaths are fairly easy. Um, I know a lot of us randomly get killed in the red zone when we're actually trying to play a real match, but that had not happened for me since the update so I had to go searching for it. And hopefully with this video, I showed you a couple of little tricks that you can do to get these deaths, especially the one with the vehicle. Sometimes you don't um, see many vehicles or when people are driving by, they just jump out and start shooting at you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a like and thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more PUBG Mobile content. Thanks for watching.